Greater Toronto area home prices heat up in April as supply tightens further. The Toronto Regional Real Estate Board reported a total of 7,531 homes sold last month but these numbers still trail 2022 activity by over 5%. This is now providing us with a clearer indication of how buyers have been impacted by the Bank of Canada's hiking cycle, which slowed the market dramatically after kicking off in March 2022. While today's borrowing environment remains the most challenging in 15 years, the numbers indicate buyers are indeed rising to the challenge, with down payments and debt ratios healthy enough to pass the elevated stress test, which is currently in the range of 6.3 to 8%. Prices continued to tick upward, stoked by the sharp year-over-year -year decline in new listings, which Toronto Regional Real Estate Board notes that is down by over 38%. The average home price for the region came in at $1,153,000, a $45,000 increase from March. The lack of inventory reveals sellers remain at odds with timing the market. There's a perception that prices still have further to recover, while others are likely reluctant to become buyers in today's market conditions, given higher mortgage rates and the supply shortage. This is enabling a catch-22 situation with constraining listings and driving competition in the market. Fewer listings relative to sales meant there was more competition between buyers, supporting an improvement in selling prices since the beginning of this year, states the board's release. As long as the Bank of Canada sticks to its rate hold status quo, this will remain the case. Borrowers can become increasingly confident with the Bank of Canada's ability to do so, given the latest economic reports that show slowing inflation and GDP. Price recovery strongest within city limits. As has been the trend in recent months, home prices are heating up fastest within the city of Toronto, the April average price of over $1,120,000 reflects homes are selling for $66,000 more than in March, a difference of over 6%, though, that remains over 9% below last year's levels. The difference in year-over-year -year sales was also considerably less, with a total of 2,735 transactions, that's 9% lower than April 2022 levels, compared to the 36% year-over-year decline recorded last month. A total of 4,389 listings were brought to market, down 28% from last year, though revealing a slight uptick from the previous month. The decline in new listings was most pronounced in the city of Toronto markets, down 43% year over year with 6,975 homes brought to market. Today's buyers mean business, they've made the economics work and they're newly motivated, following months of inactivity. The bottom line is that there is a very high chance that this is going to fuel increasingly competitive market conditions, meaning buyers may be more likely to encounter situations such as multiple offer scenarios, bidding wars or pressure to drop conditions from their offers, such as upon financing or inspection. The indicators are pretty evident that the Greater Toronto Area housing market is definitely going to heat up this summer. Let us know your thoughts on the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a blissful day.